Hey folks, Grant from Gunspot here for thearmorylife.com. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about dope. We're obviously not talking about illicit drug use. Um, we're referring to what snipers and long distance shooters um, use to to get their scope adjusted to distance. And so DOPE just stands for data on previous engagement. So the old school method is to take a data book and record your conditions for the day when you go out to the range and you have starting data and, and then you adjust it until the rounds match up with the data. And then you record that based on the conditions so that the next time you go to the range, if you have similar temperature, similar barometric pressure, all those variables kind of match up, you can go and you can not waste as much ammunition because you've already done that leg work provided that you're using the same bullet, the same load, et cetera, et cetera. So that is old school method number one. Um, a nothing wrong with old school method number one. In fact, I, I think it still has its place because technology sometimes will fail you, um, but those old timers out there, get with the program, you're, you're wasting ammo if you're not using new technology as well as, as the old methods. So one thing I like to do, um, in addition to running a data book, is once I have established dope, I like to print off little cards. I put a little Velcro on the back and I'll attach it to my rifle so that if my battery fails or, you know, heck my memory um, all the time, I get things jumbled up. Well, if it's in print, I'm less likely to hit the wrong switch or the wrong button or input data wrong. You know, it's, it's factual here and I go to that data and I can make my adjustments accordingly on my rifle for the distance to get my hits. Okay, so we're gonna create a scenario so that you can see what we're actually talking about as far as putting or transferring your dope from your card or your data book or your ballistic computer or your heads up display laser range finder um, onto the, the optic itself in order to, to shoot that distance. So um, in my situation here, hypothetical, I wanna shoot a target that's at 850 yards. Well, my data from previous engagement says 6.76 mils of elevation is required for me to get a 140 grain AMAX round to that distance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my elevation knob, elevation is always gonna be the knob on the top provided the scope is mounted correctly, and I'm going to, in my mill setup, go to eight, Point, or I'm sorry, 6.76, 6, 6.5, 6, 6, 6, 7. 6.7 mils is what my rifle in 6.5 Creedmoor shooting 850 yards with 180, uh, sorry, 140 grain AMAX needs to get there in the up and down correction. Now that's only half of your needed dope. We also need to be considerate of the wind. And there's a lot of views on whether you should dial wind or hold wind. Of course, whether you can even hold wind is going to be dependent upon the type of reticle you have in your scope. Let's assume that we're um, shooting an antiquated design here, a duplex reticle, there are no holds. So we're gonna dial it. In this particular scope, my windage is going to have a locking knob, so I have to release that locking knob, and then I start figuring up what I need to adjust for wind. If I'm having or dealing with a wind that is blowing from my left to right, I'm gonna actually adjust into the wind to counteract for that wind's push of the bullet from left to right. So I'm adjusting into the wind so that the bullet veers in and then by the time it hits the target, it goes 
and impacts where I want it to. Another hypothetical situation, we, we shot a target at 850 yards. To do that, we needed 6.76 mils of adjustment in our particular application here. And we've decided, oh, we're gonna switch targets now to something closer in than this. And this is where it, it tends to confuse that newer shooter because you're, you're um, dialing past and now you've got to take it back off. I like mills for this particular reason because I'm not having to lap um, or turn the knob in complete rotation nearly as much as I would if I was operating off a of minutes of angle. Um, teach his own though, they're, they're both competent and capable um, units of angular measurement to adjust that. But hypothetical situation, now we have a target at 425 yards. So in my um, data, it tells me I need 2.2 mils of elevation. Right now I'm setting at 6.76, so I'm going to now go in the opposite direction to 2.2. There's two, back one, and 2.2 mils onto the optic, and now I'm set up for a 425 yard shot. All right, folks, that's it for what is dope and how it goes on the scope. Thanks for watching. Remember, train hard. Your family deserves it.